Capricorn, Capricorn. I don't even know how to make a beat to <laughs> Capricorn, but that just seemed the only thing I could come up with, okay? So don't judge me. Anyways, hello Capricorn. Welcome to your November 2021 tarot and mother effing astrology reading up in here. <laughs> November is a crazy fucking month. I am so sorry for the glare on my glasses, but it's happening, okay? I had to rock the glasses, so excuse that if you can. If you got some Virgo in your chart and it bothers you, then you don't have to watch, okay? It's not that deep. But anyways, Capricorn, November is a mother effing month, okay? It is not coming to play with anybody, okay? It is just coming in there like a sniper, like a spanking on the ass you know what i mean so just so you know just so you know okay if you didn't see my november 2021 astrology video for basically just everybody i would definitely go watch that if you haven't seen it because i talked a lot about why it's crazy and what's coming and yada 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 but it's like a really big deal we have a lot of big shit coming up the next few months so what does this mean for you in november capricorn where does this stand for you uh capricorn rising will resonate to this most but you may resonate some if you're a capricorn sun or moon too but just make sure that you watch all of your sign readings for november so basically capricorn the big theme of november is massive tension restriction and feeling held back or feeling like just this general heaviness this general tension because we have that mars saturn square and for you this is happening in your second house and in your 11th house of uh other people friends social situations networking you know anything that deals with other people or deals with groups of people it could be your social groups your friend groups and basically what it is that you want to do in life what it is that you want to do in the world your place in the world where you fit in all of that great stuff right and this is somehow in tension with your finances your assets your money what you have what you own your priorities right so there could be a lot going on here with those themes this month. And then on top of that, we have all this Scorpio energy, which for you is the fifth house of love, creativity, children. So I will say other than money wise, other than financial aspects, uh, I would say that you are a sign that November specifically may not be hitting the hardest. There are other signs that are getting hit harder. Uh, you're probably on the low end of those signs. So, so that is a great thing. November for you specifically, Capricorn, is your 11th house. This is really going to bring up possible shadiness, suspicion, skepticism in terms of friends, social groups, your social life there. There could be some stuff coming up and you could start feeling maybe, you know, there could be some self-worth issues coming up. You should be, you could start feeling like maybe you don't belong or you're feeling weird or outcasted or like you don't have what you need to have in order to be part of something in some way where you're looking around at the people in your life and you're asking yourself, what the hell am I doing basically? You know, um, what's really going on here? And this is possibly going to drive you to go deep within yourself to figure out uh what setbacks you're having or what delays you're having what challenges you're having having what hurdles you're having and what's going to be worth it to overcome and what's not and you could also find that people around you are seeming a little bit more restless this month or coming at you or being a little bit more pointed with you this month as well. Uh, just your kind of outlook on society in general and people in your life could be uh, kind of grim this month. You could be feeling a little bit skeptical of the people around you. And so that's something that you could really notice in the month of November. But luckily, because Scorpio is your 11th house, it really is mainly affecting that friend, group, social area of life. Now, this is your hopes and wishes too. So, and this is where some of the self-worth stuff could come in. You know, it could be, you could be really going through a major change of 
how you kind of see the world and what it is that you want to do in the world, where it is that you feel your place is in the world, and how you want to move through that, where how you want to uh, deal with that and where you want to move forward from there. This month is really about questioning, you know, your desires in life, what it is you want to do, the connections you need to make to get to where you want to go. And are those connections legit? Can you trust them? Uh, and so, yeah, that's, that's really what's going to be coming up here that you need to keep an eye out for. Now, some other things that could be coming up. So the first part of the month is going, like I said, to seem like a pressure cooker. There's going to be some kind of pressure. It may not be as intense for you, but you could be noticing it in other people's lives. Uh, you could have like someone, you know, an acquaintance or you know, something like that, that maybe is going through some kind of crisis or something like that. But this could trigger in some way you to make some kind of change to uh, what it is that you want or what it is that you desire. And so there could be some influences coming in this month, in the month of November, Capricorn, that really shake up your passions in some way or shake up the things that you like, the things that you're interested in. So kind of like an example of this, what I'm seeing is there could be some kind of tension where you're inspired or you're motivated to be putting something out into the world or doing something with other people or uh, something along those lines. Like you could have some kind of ambition or something, but it could feel like you don't have what it takes or you're holding yourself back because you're not feeling good enough or you're not feeling like, you know, like your self-worth is just not there. It feels like, oh, I have these either external or internal like setbacks that are really holding me back from doing this. But then we get to mid-month and you may start feeling like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it, right? Something gets shaken up in terms of what it is you desire, what it is you want, and something is reborn in you uh, that at first could feel a little bit crazy or unsettling. It could feel like, oh, you know, I'm not sure about this. But at the same time, it may be something that you've been wanting or thinking about doing for a long time that you've desired for a long time but just haven't really been able to go after because of finances or restrictions regarding what you have and not wanting to put yourself in jeopardy regarding security and stability in some way. But this month could be a month where I don't think it's great to make some kind of sudden change, but there could be some kind of sudden breakthrough in what it is that you're passionate about and what it is that you know you're wanting to do you could get inspired there could be some kind of spark that happens in the month of November that really motivates you in terms of where it is that you're going and what it is that you want to do in life you know what I mean like and how to get there the connections you need to make to get there so that's basically what I'm seeing as like the main themes for you astrologically this month, Capricorn. Uh, on the fourth, we have that new moon in Scorpio, which is in your 11th house sector, bringing up, you know, friends and your social life, social connections, networking, you know, all of that, your ambitions. And so that could be definitely shedding some deep truths in that area and really shaking things up when it comes to your passions and stuff. Another thing that you could notice this month, Capricorn, is there could be something going on like maybe with children and money, uh, you know, maybe you're having to supply your child with some kind of financial expense, like there's something coming up financially there or with some kind of possession or security or stability, uh, something like that could come up as well in the month of November. So Venus moves into your sign on the 5th though, and this is a really big deal because Venus is going to spend like the next five months in your sign Capricorn because it's going to retrograde around December 19th. And so this is really big and you're going to go through massive changes over those next five months. So I would start paying attention as soon as Venus moves into your sign on the 5th. Uh, to what she's bringing up in your life. Just pay attention to any themes or patterns that come up when Venus moves into your sign because it's going to be a big deal and those themes and patterns can kind of give you clues as to what's coming and it's really going to be about finding the value in yourself. 
not letting these old ideas of self-worth and security and stability, this kind of lack mentality with the five of pentacles reversed here, holding you back anymore. You know what I mean? Like what you can and can't do is going to be so big for you coming up here, Capricorn, and you're really going to get, um, you're really going to be going through a massive change once Venus retrogrades next month. And we'll talk about that then, but it's going to be a time of really, really seeing your worth and getting rid of any bullshit, any past distractions, influences, you know, shadow shit that has been holding you back, you know, like a magnet, like constantly pulling you backward, constantly like, oh no, I can't do this. Like what limitations are you setting on yourself? right? And that's really what's going to come into focus this month. What limitations do you have regarding your relationship with security and stability? And what limitations, how are those limitations holding you back in terms of what you really want? You know, what you really want to go after, what you really want, how you want to do it, all of that, like, how is that really holding you back? So let's go over your cards here, Capricorn. First, we have listening. And so, like I said, I kind of feel like this is Venus moving into your sign, really paying attention to what's going on. Um, also, with listening, there could be something happening where, you know, this is a month where you may need to kind of just sit back and scope things out rather than asserting yourself, like, uh, impulsively. Kind of just sit back and allow things to unfold before trying to, you know, move in on something, basically. We also have metamorphosis, so there could definitely be some changes regarding friends and your social life, uh, possibly some drama even coming up regarding friends, social life, people around you. It doesn't even have to necessarily be friends. It could be acquaintances, you know what I mean? Just anybody really in your social life where they could be going through something like that. Uh, but there is a massive change and your ambitions, your wishes, your hopes uh, for the future and the connections in your life socially. We also have peaks of joy. And so I feel like this month is really going to pull out some massive breakthroughs for you where you finally kind of are able to move forward with some kind of passion, some desire, something that you've been trying to like embrace or connect with internally. It's really going to be big, especially that Taurus lunar eclipse, which is on uh, the 19th. I was confuse that if it's the 19th or the 20th, but around the 19th, that Taurus lunar eclipse is going to be so major for you. Um, and this new moon in Scorpio is going to be opposite Uranus and Taurus too. So this is really massive breakthroughs and liberation in regards to passion, where it's like, are you motivated to do the work on the things you need to do the work on to get to where you want to go? And I think this month is really going to bring that for you. We also have goblins, which is no surprise, you know, this is really like the voices inside of us that tell us we can't or we're not good enough or whatever. And so we're, you're probably really going to be having that come up this month where it's like, okay, do you want to keep listening to these voices, right? And once again, the card listening, are you going to keep listening to the goblins inside of you? You know what I mean? Or are you going to get to the bottom of it and figure out why they're there to begin with. Are you going to do the work and figure out why they're there? Rescue, right? Are you going to rescue yourself from yourself? You know what I mean? Um, this also could be a month where you end up needing to be the responsible one in a social situation, or you feel like you're kind of put in that position where you know, someone may need your help. This could really be bringing out some old shadows or old things for you and, and, and really showing you uh, certain things about yourself that maybe need to be changed uh, in November. We also have Heal the Ouch, which is beautiful after all of that because it's really like, okay, now it's time to heal. Now it's time to move through it. Um, so yeah, so moving on to your tarot. So we start out with the Eight of Pentacles, which, you know, definitely tells me that you've been really working on something here. You know, you've been really putting in the effort for something. We also have the Ace of Cups, which really, like, it's weird. Both of these cards are <laughs> have, like, two uh, heads on them. Uh, so there's something here where it's like, you know, November is a very psychological month, and I feel like psychologically 
you are really being shown what it is that you're hungry for. And what I mean by that is like what it is that you're thriving for, what it are not thriving for, what it is that you're craving in your life. Okay. And how to get that, you know, how to get there and what's holding you back from it. What is holding you back from your passion? You know what I mean? There's something that you really want here. There's something that you really want to start working towards. But with this five of pentacles reversed here, it's like you keep telling yourself that something isn't enough or you need more to do this and you don't, right? Um, it's not, that's not the case at all. We also have the knight of wands, which I think is good after all of that because it's like, boom, okay, I need to move forward. Um, really, you can let this lack, loss, mentality, whatever this is, this five of pentacles reversed, motivate you with this nine of wands here to run the gauntlet. You know what I mean? To be able to jump into that unknown space. And instead of trying to protect yourself, three of swords and nine of wands from pain or heartbreak, right? Pain and heartbreak are a necessary part of life. And I've been saying this so much lately and I've been meaning to post a, make a post about it on my Instagram, but I feel like the one of the major problems in the world <laughs> is that we are always looking for ways to avoid pain and suffering instead of accepting it as a necessary but very beautiful part of life because it can be. You know, we would not know healing or great times or, you know, have great memories if we also did not have bad ones. Because if the bad ones weren't there, they'd all just be memories. They'd all just be like, blah, right? Whatever. It happened. Whatever. You know, like we wouldn't have that contrast to say, oh, these are good and, and these were really painful and shitty. You know what I mean? But if you think about it, through those shitty times is where you grew the most. Through those shitty times is where you likely found your power and bossed the fuck up. You know what I mean? And so with this nine of wands and three of swords, what are you trying to avoid? What are you trying to defend, right? Like what are you trying to protect yourself against basically? Um, and that needs, I think, to be let go this month. Like I think th that needs to be faced because you're trying to protect yourself against something and it's some kind of mental anguish that you're scared to go through. It's some kind of mental or emotional, psychological pain that is all a what if, you know, what if this happens? Oh my God, what would I do? So it's not even real in the first place. It's some possibility in the future that you are holding yourself back for right here, right now, right? What the fuck? Like, what the, doesn't that sound crazy? But we all do it, right? And so what are you trying to protect yourself against so much, you know? What are you trying to avoid? And this month, you're really getting to the bottom of that. You're really seeing that. And then we have the Eight of Cups, which is so beautiful with this reading right now because it's like, okay, yeah, you know, like this is the zombie tarot and in this card, you know, the zombie's right next to her car and she's trying to walk to her car, but the zombie's right there. And so she has to walk away. You know what I mean? Like she, as much as she wants to go to her car, you know, as much as she would like to have her car still and she's worked for it and she's bought it, like there are other things that are out there, like that are more important. And this month you're getting like a really this is like a brand new beginning that is going to start showing you what's really important in your life. What do you really need? What do you really want? What do you really want to hang on to? And what's necessary? You know what I mean? Really getting to the bare bones of things and saying, this is what I want. This is what I don't. And I'm sick of holding on to something that in the end is keeping me from what I want. And I don't really want this, but I do want this, but this is keeping me from this. So I need to let this go, you know? And so that's what's happening. We also have the six of cups also a beautiful energy to have here, integration and really finding what you love, moving towards leaving behind whatever it is. Like, yes, you've invested a lot of emotion or whatever time and energy into it. But if it's not really making you happy, if it's not really sparking that spark for you anymore, if it's if you know that it's holding you back from some kind of evolution or growth that you really feel is necessary, then 
it's time to move on. It's time to start going towards what does make your heart spark, what does make you light up, what does like make you feel like you're thriving. You know what I mean? So that is what I'm seeing here for you, Capricorn. I bait, I went over the month already for the most part. Around the 7th, you want to watch out because that is the Mercury-Mars conjunction square Saturn. So that's when you could be feeling the most intensity in regards to the kind of push-pull energy. It's definitely a time of getting honest with yourself. It's There could be some kind of external event that triggers something or that really kind of unexpectedly liberates you in a weird way. Like it could feel challenging or restricting at first, but whatever happens, it's actually leading towards some kind of breakthrough or liberation, even if it doesn't seem like it. So um, just keep that in mind. And then on the 17th, Venus goes into shadow and that's when you really wanna be paying attention because Venus will retrograde back to these parts of Capricorn that she's in from the 17th. Uh, to the December 19th, that time period is going to be really important to pay attention to um, because those things are going to come back around. It's not the best time to be like doing anything cosmetic, anything with your appearance, anything with like, especially things that are permanent that cannot be reversed or that could have serious complications with Venus retrograde. Um, you know, maybe even meeting someone new may not be so great around this time. Uh, big financial decisions may not be so great from November 17th to December 19th. I'm not a financial advisor though, so do what you will, but Venus rules over money and finances, beauty, looks, relationships. Um, so material things that give us pleasure, right? So uh, anything like that, that could come back around or that you could change your mind about or that could have certain consequences like you may just want to keep that in mind basically on the 13th or around the 13th could be that major you know one of those major mental breakthroughs with mercury opposite uranus in your 11th and 5th uh you know where you are kind of freeing yourself from some kind of from that burden that you've been carrying or where you have some kind of moment of clarity some big realization some kind of wake-up call you know what i mean where you are maybe getting honest with yourself about something, you know, there's some kind of mental breakthrough or verbal breakthrough, you know? And then around the 17th, maybe even like a week before leading up to the 17th, we have Mars opposite Uranus and that is going to be huge. <laughs> so this is gonna be very radical, like, you know, unconventional uh, freedom vibes, you know, <laughs> like really like, uh, doing something that breaks you free of something like the urge to do something extreme or do something like chaotic or different or wild or to just like completely break out of your cage and spread your wings in some way. Okay, so you do want to watch it though. You do want to make sure you don't take something too extreme or do something that's too brand new, too sudden. It's going to be a great time for something that you've already been thinking about, already been planning. But if you are trying to do something brand new or brand like really sudden and impulsive, it could be something that kind of backfires. So do just keep that in mind. Uh, and then, like I was saying, we have that Taurus lunar eclipse around the 19th. And that's going to be a massive, massive energy happening in your fifth house of love, romance, creativity, passion, sexuality, children. So we, you may notice things of those coming up around that time. And we'll talk more about it in the full moon lunar eclipse video that I do for all signs later this month. So anyways, Capricorn, thank you so, so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you could do me one favor for this video, I would really, really appreciate it. If you could leave me a comment down below and let me know uh, if any of this ends up resonating with you, how you feel about it, what ends up happening in your month of November. I truly, truly love to know and really am interested how these energies play out especially if you're a Capricorn rising for you. So thank you so, so much. And I will see you guys in my other videos.